Lightroom in itself can give you a lot of amazing editing abilities, but once you start using Photoshop together with Lightroom, you will have endless possibilities. I would like to show you just a couple of examples, starting first with merging images together. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add another texture on top of a photograph. So I selected one photo here and I'm going to right click on this thumbnail and choose edit in Photoshop CS6. You can choose previous versions as well if you have a previous version installed, but I'm going to use Photoshop CS6. So we have our photo here in Photoshop and I am going to use bridge and drag and drop a texture from here into my Photoshop document. So I just drag and drop it here and I am using free transform tool to make this texture fit into the whole image. So something like that. By the way, if you want to use textures and find images like this on the internet, one of the best sites I prefer to use is called lostandtaken.com. You can find lots of textures here that can download and they are all high resolution. So I just go back to Photoshop now and what I would like to do is to blend these two images together. The best way to do that is to use blend modes. So I have the texture on top of the image and I change the normal blend mode to multiply and I already have a very interesting effect here. I can also play around with other blend modes like overlay. It looks, well, it looks good as well. But to make it look even more interesting, I am going to turn the image into black and white and I'm going to use a tint color on it. For that, I use an adjustment layer. I just select black and white. And from the black and white options, I select tint. And the tint is a little bit too strong. So probably now I go back to the blend mode and change the overlay now to multiply. The only problem now is that the image is a bit too dark. So I can also create another adjustment layer just to brighten up the image. And I am going to use a curves adjustment layer and just brighten the overall image, mainly the dark areas, just to make it look a little bit even more faded out and burned. So if you remember what we did in Lightroom for the vintage effect, this is something similar to that, but we made it even more interesting by applying this texture on top. In the next video, I'm going to show you another way of merging images together. In that case, I'm going to create a perfect group shot of three different photographs.